So we're in at Vat Steel 2023 and we're just going to take a, a walk through the new power pack ribbon arrangement for Advanced Steel. So here you'll see the various panels that we have, create elements, create macros, fabricate, manage and power pack. And we've had to do some rearrangement and obviously some elements remain the same. So in this sub panel here, beam repeats, beam continuous and beam lengthen, these commands remain as placed previously. Same for catalog manager, castellated beam, spiral polyline with the various drop downs available as well, that hasn't changed. Similarly, if we uh, come here, we can now see that we've rearranged what was the cold rolled suppliers before into a drop down list. Originally, these were separate command buttons in the panel. So we've had to condense them into the drop down list to enable the user to access the profiles that are found under those different suppliers that also connects to their connection data that we use within the various joint macros of advanced steel. We've moved the folded plate tool into that panel as well. We've done some reorganization and renaming here to do with the glass data. So here we have the frame data and the defined panels under a drop down list. Uh, defined panels is where you can define multiple glass sheets of different thicknesses and different gaps that combines with the various framing data that goes around the perimeter of those panels. Similarly, you can insert glass using that, and that actually refers to the glass data from the previous drop down. And also, you can create a glass list, which is a bill of material extract from the model. We now come to some new features, new tools for 23 that have been inserted here as command buttons the line to grid, multi grid level, camera creator. These are three new main features available in the 2023 version. Uh, you'll be familiar with buttons here for the power pack for connection vault as we move into create macros panel. So the power pack for connections will bring out this palette here. Stairs and railings will bring out this palette here as you see it with various options in there for stairs and different railing types. We obviously have the uh, special part manager available as well. If you access that command, it will bring up a, a GUI that allows the user to access and add various different special parts that link to the various Greatech macros within the system of the power pack. We have a new button here for structures vault. This is where we've moved the structure designer elements into a palette. A executing that will open this palette here and you'll see a various series of tabs available for the default structure, custom structures, single story and multi-story multi-bay structures. And each one of these has a little description of what it's doing with a picture, etc., explaining the basic operation of the commands. We sort of move in, the fabricate panel hasn't changed any anything since last time. This is remaining the same. The Manage panel is the same. The only thing you'll notice is there's been some rebranding of elements here, but the operational functionality remains the same as it did before. Similarly, the Power Pack Ends panel here has the Learn Options Help, License Utility, and tells you what version of the Power Pack you're running. So that's a very quick walkthrough of the basic new arrangement for the ribbon for 2023 for the power pack for advanced steel.